Welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. It's going to be a great day. Dad and Eric have got themselves a big trip ahead of them, about, I don't know, maybe 700-ish miles round trip, something like that, I think. And uh, so they're going to be heading off. We're going to get some new rollers for our shop. It's going to be a great one, so come along. Alright YouTubers, it's uh, 2.45 in the morning, North Country Memorials is about to be on the road heading to Barrie, Vermont. We've got to pick up uh, rollers that are going to replace these rollers back here and uh, actually we got to disassemble them and not, all, not sure what all we're going to get into. We want them in an auction and so... Uh, but we got a five hour trip ahead of us. My helpers have arrived. So we'll get the last couple things in the truck. Brought along a bunch of extra tools and whatnot. Morning. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. It's dark, we can't see each other. <laughs> Morning Caleb. We have been traveling since 10 minutes of 3. Do your own calculations on that, I guess. Anyway, we just crossed over into Vermont. It is daylight, finally. And uh, we should be... What's it say? 8.16 to arrive in Barrie. So, anyway, it's pretty over there where the sun's rising, which I'm a little confused because how can the sun be rising in the east when we're traveling in the west when we're traveling north? Must be a turn in the road that I don't know about. Anyway. See on the flip side. All right, we are in Barrie, and uh, took us a little while. We found found the place, and uh, we're going in, and we're going to start getting uh, things going, and uh, we'll set up the camera and let you watch a little bit.
just wanted to hop in and say thank you so much for supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to us that you subscribe. It means a lot that you comment and uh, give us kind of feedback and stuff. We really appreciate it, really enjoy it. And if you guys really do want to support us, the best way is to hit that subscribe button and continue watching our videos. We appreciate it. All right, we are getting ready to strap and we're out of here. It's been good. Good uh, bunch of people to work with. Everybody's all trying to get to the same place and so it uh it's worked well so it's a good cooperation i think we're going to go take a quick tour of the uh quarry eric's planning on trying out his wingsuit caleb he's got a wife to get to eric he don't care much about caleb's wife i better not <laughs> their camera got cut off right there uh, dad was just saying you know they made good time the job was not too bad and as you can see we made it back to the shop and we've got our rollers we ended up with two 45s and we have about 130 feet of straight and one turn table and that is kind of what we got we uh, we ended up paying in the auction after the you know the taxes and the auction fee for the online auction and all the stuff i think it was 700 bucks was what we paid for the rollers and then uh you know probably cost about that much to get them home as well so they are here um you can just see so next to my hand how big that is and then i'm going to go in we'll compare this to what we had before like look at the rollers, they're just so much more solid. All right, and so here's the rollers that we're currently using. Here's what my hand looks like. <laughs> and, you know, grabbing hold of it. That other one I'm grabbing like this. These are, you know, easily get all the way around it, no problem. Um, so just very small compared to the other. We were very happy to get a good deal on those rollers. Um, you know, something like that could have easily cost us probably north of 10 grand, I bet. And we had looked around a little bit. Uh, we'd found some stuff that we could get for China um, that would have been maybe seven grand, I think. And uh, But if we wanted stuff done here in America, American made, uh, yeah, we were looking at spending a pretty good chunk on it. So, um, when these came up for auction, there was a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, Global Values, some of you guys I'm sure have dealt with them in the past. Uh, they went out of business and so they basically had liquidated everything they had in their shop was going. And so we heard about that and there was, I don't know, maybe four or five lots of uh, rollers and there were some that looked a little nicer and some that didn't look quite as nice as these ones. We kind of got ones that were sort of in the middle a little bit and you know really um, pretty happy with what we got and especially at the price we got it. It's going to be very nice. Um, a few years ago we had um, a stone here on these rollers and it was a, one of the bigger stones we have probably done. Um, certainly one of the biggest dies we had ever done and it started to collapse the rollers. Um, the, the force of it was just, it was putting so much strain that it was pushing out the rails on either side and the, the rollers were starting to drop out. And then uh, it as well, the, the legs holding it up was giving away a little bit, which these legs would be fine. We do need to drill and set them 
permanently at, at a specific height, which we will probably do when we adjust and bring the other rollers in. Uh, you saw probably the granite base things that we had. Those we will see what we do with. We may end up using those. We may not, depending on how they work height-wise for what we've got here. Um, I don't know if they will be quite tall enough, but we'll, we'll see. We'll have to adjust and mess with all that. But definitely very grateful to have got them. It's one of those things, you know, that day when it happened, we basically said, okay, no more stones anywhere close to that big on the rollers. That stuff just has to be handled outside and done back like we used to do it. And so you've seen us work on some of our big stuff over the last few years outdoors and not working in our beautiful shop not using our nice automatic sandblaster uh, so it'll be nice to be able to get back to where we can handle any size stone that we're working on without any problem and with total confidence so very happy that we're making this change uh, going to be very helpful and we'll be obviously showing more videos when we decide to tear these out and put those in that'll be happening probably sometime later in the winter I'd imagine maybe this fall yet yeah, you never know it just depends on how stuff goes but we will certainly bring you guys along for that ride as well thanks for coming we will see you all next time